Hello nice people, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button if you're new and for the returning subscribers, I love you so much. The drama between Nairobi, her real name being Esther and also the ex hubby that is Zephorian aka Bebe, his real name being Duncan is really getting messy and messier online as they continue to expose each other. I've done so far three videos whereby we have been able to talk, uh, whereby we saw Nairobi exposing Zephorian and on the other side Zephorian has been able to to expose Nairofi and at this point Nairofi has stopped talking but Yeforian is continuing to expose a Nairofi. Some of the people are thinking that maybe the pseudo accounts belong to Yeforian who is trying to tarnish Nairofi's name and even some other people think that maybe the pseudo account belongs to Silantoi who is a best friend to Nairofi. When it comes to this specific video it's where a leaked message between Nairofi and Yeforian has been shown whereby they are having a conversation and from the conversation it shows that indeed Nairofi was probably jealous of the best friend and that is Silantoi. The pseudo page that most people allegedly think that maybe it belongs to Yeforian or the best friend to a Nairofi and that is Silantoi went on to expose chats between Bebe and a Nairofi on their Instagram page and I'll quote Silantoi, you've put Nairofi through hell. She has always dreamed to be like you. Influencer pressure is real. This is the conversation where it started by Bebe saying you aren't focused on common objectives. You don't take vital issues seriously. You're no longer the Esther I knew. If even in conversations, Nairofi went on to reply, I've just been demotivated when it comes to work, but everything else is okay. Uh, what has demotivated you? Open up to me. Nairofi went on to say, honestly, the main demotivation was Silantoi, and I also just feel blocked from creativity. I don't know why. Bebe went on to say, do you feel inferior than Silantoi? From the leaked conversation, this is where some of the fans concluded that probably Nairofi was really jealous of Silantoi and Silantoi was probably even giving her pressure. The conversation continues. Truth reveals Nairofi has been lying to public. Baby bought everything she owns. As I said, facts will catch up with her. Of course, it's saw Nairofi saying that Bebe has not been supporting her in any way and Bebe is poor. But this is another conversation. Aki hater success attacks Vile. That's a good sign. They used to say umeweka na wababa. No, the story has changed to wacha kuvunja mali ya bwanako. Exactly, Nairofi was saying. Now they have no excuse but to face the fact that my hubby is young and gives me a life their wababas cannot be able to give them. Uh, Bebe went on to reply, just live your life, listen to nobody. According to this page, they are proving that indeed the kind of life that Nairofi has, it has been Yeforian who has been able to support her and not the same thing that uh, Nairofi was saying that Yeforian has not been able to fund the kind of lifestyle that we are seeing on social media. Another conversation was leaked uh, by saying, stop pressure my dear influencers. There was a life before social media. Another conversation was saying, uh, that was just a conversation between, you know, Nairofi again and Euphorian on saying that, you know, Sil Silantoi was the one that made Nairofi demotivated. Let us know what you think about this in the comment section. They even went on to put screenshots of fans who are probably disappointed by Nairofi and I'll quote where this girl is such a liar. I'm so confused. Now I used to follow them and liked how she pushed herself to the top. I don't know who to believe now. Laughing emoji. Most of the people are uh, maybe probably don't know who to believe. Is it Nairofi or Yeforian? Because both of them are giving their side of the story and here Yeforian is giving his side of the story by even giving out you know receipts or even screenshots but even you who are watching most of you could not be able to know who is telling the truth even some of the people think that maybe they're just cloud chasing but they insisted that they are not cloud chasing and things are real this one even went on to say you can fool one person once but you cannot fool all the people all the time facts are on the table who is the scammer now? We have been able to see the two calling each other scammers. So till right now, who do you think is the scammer and who is not? Because things are really getting tough and tough as the breakup continues. <laughs> Baby, I need to go to the hospital. I can't bear it anymore. <laughs> Please, I need to go to the hospital. 
and that's it for now thank you so much for watching this video till the end i really appreciate make sure give it a big thumbs up to show that you really enjoyed comment down below let us know your thoughts and if you're new or you have never subscribed to our channel hit the subscribe button hit that notification bell to always get notified every time we post and so guys till next time bye